All right, well, I don't know what to say here. There is the uh, pulse motor running. There's the LED on full. And there's the battery. <laughs> and that is the little gelatin battery as it dried out. It started out as one of these little gelatin cubes here that uh, I stuck the elements into it. And uh, there it is dried out after a few days running this pulse motor up a storm. And part of this has to do with that circuit. That's that self-starting uh, pulse motor circuit. You'll have to go back a few videos to find this circuit. And I think this is part of the reason this is working because I think as this thing spins around, it shoots energy backwards. And I put the meters on this. This is only drawing 250 microamps at a little over oh, probably half a volt loaded. Unloaded, it's about a volt to a volt and a half. Uh, when it's loaded down, it's uh, way down there, about half a volt at 250 microamps. That's an extremely small battery. Um, it's the other end of the pencil. You can see how small it is with my finger. And uh, that's magnesium ribbon and copper. Bubbles are forming in this um, gelatin as it hardens up. Uh, you can see them in there, which is really kind of cool. Cool. Uh, this has got like a black deposit on it now, and this doesn't seem to be oxidizing very rapidly. And like I say, this is running this pulse motor great. And uh, it won't run a uh, jewel thief uh, type of uh, LED oscillator. There's not enough surface area in there to make it work. But here it is, and let me go through this again. There's the gelatin and uh, it's just made like jello and you cut it into pieces whatever size battery you want to make these are the elements for the battery it's magnesium ribbon you buy it on ebay it's 99 percent pure and uh, comes in a roll like that it's seven bucks buys you a whole roll like that get your copper wire or whatever copper you want to use and uh, this is the the recipe freeze frame this and you can replicate this okay cup of distilled water teaspoon of the gelatin you can uh, spell this g-e-l-a-t-i-n some people put an e on it but it's this Knox gelatin that what I'm using here this is the alum you have to f hunt for that some of the stores don't carry but they sell it in the, the spice section of the supermarkets now this is the first one that I showed you guys way back when and it's frozen hard as a rock. That's just an ice cube. Look at the voltage on it. And I'm thinking these would be a great source of batteries for cold climates, like during the long winters. Let's leave this thing outside frozen. And there's your voltage on the thing. And uh, if you get this gelatin hot, it melts. It goes back into a liquid. But... Uh, when it's cold like that, frozen solid as a rock, this thing is still putting out the, the juice. <laughs> and and uh, this thing here, like I say, it's just been sitting out in the open air, uh, gradually drying out. It's still semi-solid like, like a gummy bear candy now. It, it feels kind of like a gummy bear candy. And it's running this pulse motor. Lighten that LED. So anyway, that's, that's, I don't know what to say. I've done some research on this gelatin, and uh, uh, you can um, make ballistic kind of gelatin out of this stuff, too. And you can add cinnamon oil, a couple of drops of cinnamon oil. You get it at the pharmacy, and that stops the mold from happening so it doesn't deteriorate. And I'm keeping this in the refrigerator right now to keep it uh, okay. And I'm just putting a lid on this thing here. But uh, I don't know. This this is pretty cool, guys. I would recommend uh, somebody else trying this and to use this recipe and uh, make some of these little uh, magnesium copper batteries and see what you come up with. If you add more surface area, you'll get more amperage. And uh, they form bubbles inside here. 
and I don't know what to do about the bubbling. Now, there's probably ways to get rid of the bubbling and still keep the galvanic action happening. This is galvanic. There's, there's nothing mysterious about this in here, but it's slowed down to a point where this runs for days and days and days. So anyway, just wanted to share that with the guys that may be working on these things that uh, this can be done. And uh, there's proof of it right there. Gelatin battery. Thanks for watching. Good luck with this.